As I'm sure many of you have, lately I've been seeing the name Jack Doherty pop up everywhere on my Twitter feed, on my YouTube homepage. Him and his gaggle of friends are constantly getting into some nonsense, getting into fights, and even sometimes causing a little bit of crime. And I'm sure by the end of this video, you'll come to agree with me that this dude sets a dangerous precedent. Because tons of kids watch this guy online, they want to be this. They want to be a 19 year old who has all the money in the world so he can go around acting like a complete and utter dickhead. He's one of the most popular streamers in the world, and people see these antics on full display on almost a daily basis. There's tons of these guys popping up now. Originally, you only really saw that kid Aiden Ross doing this kind of stuff, but now it's guys like Jack, Neon, and just tons of other people, nameless faces in the crowd if you were to ask me. But sadly it looks like, and it has been for the past few years, that this is the future of live streaming. People just doing completely degenerate things on camera just to get clout, and most times 9 out of 10, it happens. And if you capitalize on it like this kid did, well look at him, he's in a big mansion fighting Fousey Tube right now. I mean, like tell this kid that 10 years ago, he probably would have been, he probably would have been losing his mind. And when I said earlier that this video is going to feature a lot of fights, well trust me ladies and gentlemen, that was no understatement. There's going to be a whole lot of fights here. Because you'd think Jack lives some rock star lifestyle. You know, what does this guy actually do for a living? Well, he's a prank YouTuber. You know, that's why I think he's probably so hyped to see Fousey, but yeah, the dude's been on YouTube for years and he's accumulated 12 million subs doing these really scripted pranks, and this will bleed over into his live streams as well, but we'll get to that. These pranks, though, eventually led to him going on Dr. Phil to talk to his own brother about how far the pranks had gotten, and Jack just comes off as completely arrogant on here. I'd love to show the clips, but who knows what Dr. Phil thinks about the copyright system, so I'll just go ahead and link Jack's Dr. Phil interview down in the description below. And in the years since that's happened, Jack has grown an even bigger following, and with an even bigger following comes more and more money. And with that money, he bought this mansion where he lets all different types of streamers and his friends come over, and they really just wreak havoc and do a bunch of scripted things at the house. Now a lot of fights do take place, but really little police action is ever taken, and I think these guys have figured out what the RV streamers and guys like Only Use Me Blade haven't figured out yet, and that is the if you do all this degenerate content under the comfort of your own roof, instead of doing it on the street and harassing a bunch of innocent people, well then people wouldn't have a problem with it. You know, you see the island boys on stream, and I don't mind seeing them get messed with one bit, but seeing these streamers go out and just pick on random people on the streets for content, well that's where some people draw the line. Now I'm not saying Jack Doherty and these people are any better, but at the same time, that's why they're staying out of like real hot water with the police and everything. But you know what, enough of me talking. Let's get down to the real people we're here to talk about in the video. The Island Boys. Not really. We're here to talk about Jack, but the Island Boys are really some recurring characters in this whole in this whole streamer universe thing they got going on. The Island Boys keep showing up and putting on these absolute tough guy personas that do not work for them. They're trying to fight anyone and everybody in the house, and I'm just letting y'all know right off the jump, I watch enough pro wrestling to know when something's fake. And this shit, this shit is fake. Well, got, uh, I don't know, we got on video. Uh, Where's the viewers? I don't know, they're gone. We got how many witnesses here? Did I touch that, that girl? Yeah, no, but you've touched one before. Yeah. I respect I it, I touched though. that girl? It just needs to be said to death that these people Jack surrounds himself with are all a bunch of weirdos. I mean, look at this guy. Yeah, I respect that you touched that girl because they're they're kind of accusing the Island Boys of, I guess, doing something doing something pretty pretty malicious to some girl. And I mean, this dude just he's just trying to be funny. Oh yeah, I respect it though. They they all want to be they all want to come off as funny and they all come off as creeps. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Who are you grabbing? Whoa. Yo, he's like, yo, chill. All right, bro. Calm down. Why are they all hotheads? All right, we gotta, yeah, we gotta leave. I'll slap the fuck out of you. Bro, slap me. Chill, chill, chill. All right, don't touch me, please. I'm good. Look, I'm good. I took body shit. Bro, say that in your face again. I'm beating the fuck out of you. Yo, stop. Stop being, stop being, no. No. Bro, Calm down. Simmer down right now. He didn't do shit, bro. What are y'all saying? Fucking weirdos? See, yeah. I just don't, I don't want to get hurt. Please, dude. I'm crippled, bro. Yeah, that perfectly encapsulates the type of person that Neon is. Neon's probably the most talked about streamer in the world right now, and his whole gimmick is that he's just kind of a little bitch. 
And I know he ain't gonna break the gimmick, but I mean, my God, being afraid of the island boys, the two dudes who are kissing each other on camera, like, come on, have a little bit of respect for yourself. But now seeing what's going on with that dude and his new girlfriend, I mean, the dude has no respect for himself whatsoever, despite all that probably being a script in amongst itself. And that's what this is right here. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of examples over what these streams are like. It's people acting like hotheads, as someone said in the video, and they're all just going off about shit, trying to really... I guess get people talking about them. They want to create some type of content. And that's what happens here a lot. And it wouldn't be the only instance of the Island Boys wanting to fight people in the house. I mean, on many occasions, they wanted to fight Jack himself. I mean, come on, you shouldn't, you shouldn't need me to tell you how faked that is. I mean, if it wasn't for the little fight me, fight me's, maybe, just maybe I could have believed it. Because I can believe that Island Boy number one is so pathetic that he couldn't throw a trash can. A plastic trash can, might I add. It's not like really a metal one would have made that much of a difference, unless it was full or something. He couldn't throw that shit like what? What is that, six, seven feet up there? So, you know, even if this is fake, poor display of strength from this particular island boy. But Jack gets a lot of these people at his house to want to fight him. And I think most times, like with the island boys here, it's a script. But sometimes it's clear that people just go there and Jack gets under their skin from just being such a douchebag that they just end up hitting him. That's what happens in this clip with some random dude named Prime. I've never heard of Prime before, but I imagine he might get sued for his name one day. Because uh, it seems like Logan Paul and KSI are monopolizing on that name. Uh, but then again, Deion Sanders is going to have to fight them on that too. So... Just gonna be a huge, a, an optimist, optimist for holy shit. There's gonna be one hell of a legal battle coming up in a few years. But nonetheless, this dude Prime, he uh, he goes to the house and he's just sitting there. You know, you see him right here. He's just he's looking at the camera. He's chilling. He's showing his hand a little bit. And before you know it, like <laughs> he he tees off. He just goes at Jack for no reason. But before you know it, Jack's security guard steps in, and he gets this guy out of there. Now, Jack always has his security guards by his side, as a lot of these new age live streamers do. And it's crazy how it's turned from not even having protection because of, like, rabid fans or anything. Because, of course, you gotta worry about that, too. But it's really there to protect him against these other streamers. Because nine times out of ten, if they're getting in a fight, that's who he's getting in a fight with. And Jack, I mean, look at this happens a lot of times for it to be just a coincidence for this guy to get under someone's skin for them to just want to hit him you know we've already talked about it and shown the clip a little bit but during the summer Fousey tube showed up at jack's house and of course Fousey was going crazy on every stream and this stream right here was absolutely no exception god damn it <laughs> beta said hey yo you're a bitch you're a little bitch <laughs> bro you're a bitch <laughs> he didn't even have his kick money yet yo you're fucking I'm beta. Imagine being 33 years old. I'm beta. Hey, yo, get me some water bottles, John. Give me some fucking. You're lucky yo. I made friends with your security guard. We're going guys. back. The dog shit. Hey, yo, we can't bust. The dog. Oh. Oh. You oh. talk like a bitch too. I slapped the that dog shit out of you. That didn't even hurt. I slapped the dog shit out of you. You punch like a bitch. I, I saw you back. Five fingers. You have a fucking problem. Your bitches want you. You have a fucking your problem. Bitches no one you. wants you. No one fucking wants you. You're a bitch. You're hey, a hey. Yeah, but who the fuck does that shit? Me. You, you, you need to be fucking humble. That is crazy. So I'm pretty sure now you can see why this guy actually needs security guards. If they weren't there, Fousey probably would have escalated further. That dude Prime definitely would have escalated further. And I mean, it's just it just goes to show that every one of these people that he invites into his house has absolutely zero respect for him and thinks nothing of him. They don't they won't even hesitate to throw water in his face or slap him or try to press him and throw trash cans around. And while I've said before that a lot of this is scripted, a lot of it is just really off the wall stuff that I don't even think they know is going to happen until someone like Fousey walks through the front door. I think he was there this night for all of three minutes and all of this happened. But then again, I think that's less of Jack and more of just how crazy Fousey was at the time. But speaking of security guards, Jack doesn't really have the best track record of picking and choosing his, because some of them are clearly not fit to de-escalate a situation, and are only there to further escalate situations. Now when I show this screenshot right now, I think you know exactly what clip we're about to look at, because just a few weeks ago, this clip was everywhere. 
So Jack went to some big influencer party, and of course he had to bring his bodyguard with him because these are the people who are most likely to attack him. But at the end of the day, it wasn't Jack who got attacked, it wasn't even Jack attacking someone. But his security guard is a different story, because while he was trying to calm the situation, some dude got up in his face a little bit, and this security guard just knocked him the fuck out. I've heard a lot of different answers as to who the guy he punched was. I heard at first that he was a lawyer, but then again, why would this lawyer be at this party with all these like TikTok people and everything? Who knows? But all I know is one thing, this dude probably does not remember what he did this night after that security guard got through with him. And after the whole situation, Jack doesn't give a fuck about this guy. He's just trying to get out of there because he knows what could be brewing, knowing that his security guard is probably going to be looking at an assault charge. I mean, look at his face. This dude is like, ah, oh, shit. He knows he shouldn't have done that, but he still has to keep acting tough because, well, he is a security guard at the end of the day. And I mean, compared to all these people here, and I mean, compared to most people, the dude probably is pretty tough, but you can't just go around punching people in the face like that. And, uh, and like I said, Jack knew that he had to get right out of there and i'm not sure what's going on with this situation if this security guard is going to be like facing charges and all that but i do know that jack nine times out of ten avoids these situations so i imagine the security guard will too if jack's got him under his wing there's another video i've seen going around of jack inside of a golf cart doing donuts in it and he, he just tips it over because you know with him it's like who cares he can pay for the thing if he breaks it but the problem is his girlfriend is sitting in the passenger seat and obviously it's not a real car it's just a golf cart but i don't know flipping sideways on that thing especially when it's on your side that girl could have gotten seriously hurt here but in his mind it's just you know it's more content he pops up he's just like <laughs> 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 Jack half-ass looks down at his girlfriend for a couple seconds just to make sure she's still moving and then looks right back up at the camera to make sure he gets a good reaction shot and of course to make sure the camera's rolling because you know this this will be seen everywhere and it was it was seen everywhere people talking about how reckless Jack has been and I'm not going to be defending the dude here but he's a 20 year old who's been making money like this for years now because of his YouTube channel blowing up when he was young and he's never seemingly really had to learn anything about response responsibility and all that. Just pay enough for something and it'll go away. If you wonder why people don't like Jack, it's because of how arrogant the guy can be. I already talked about that Dr. Phil clip, and I mean, people knew it from when he was young. But then there's this clip I'm about to show you now of him and his buddy Zerka, who we'll, who we'll get to in a little bit, uh, at, at some beach party somewhere, and they get kicked out. And the way Jack talks to some of these people, I mean, he just has this, like, I'm better than you attitude. Of course, because because he has more money and he thinks these kids wasting their lives away at something stupid enough as college is just is just asinine. So here's where we get our first glimpse of John Zerka, a wannabe comedian who tries a little bit too hard to try to be funny. Now, you may be wondering, what, what do you mean the guy tries a little bit too hard? Now, before I show you these next few clips, let me just say one of the main reasons I don't like Jack Doherty is because he's buddy buddy with this guy right here. Now, I had no idea who Zerka even was until a few months ago when I saw a clip of him arguing with Ethan Ralph when he was a guest on Dick Masterson's show. And would you 
you believe that out of all people, Ethan Ralph sounds like a more a more well put together person than Zerka in this call? Because you're never gonna believe the type of stuff that Zerka's saying here. I saw you and Sneeko flirting with some underage girls on stream. Yeah, I, mean, no, I thought maybe we're we're I thought maybe too. I honestly did. I mean, I'm just mind blown. But uh, why, yeah. Ethan? Can I ask you a question? Have you ever found a 17 year old woman attractive? <laughs> why? I don't why know. are we save him. Don't talking save him. about this? Don't guy. save him. Don't, uh, like, what's, what's wrong with uh, pedophile? I Look just, at that! If I'm giving you material, hit me! Don't freeze! I mean, I love it! I love it! I love You're it! American first reporter sitting here saying they're you, pedophile. I, I mean, silence, that's what I want to hear. I can silence. This is a week <laughs> where I can silence you with saying, I'm a pedo? Like, that you freeze? How, wait, how are you supposed to respond to, I'm a pedophile? It's Exodia! <laughs> right here, I want! So, this guy on screen again, this is Zerka. And the rest of those people you heard, like Ethan Ralph and Dick Masterson, well, they're not really any better. Dick Masterson defended cuties, and Ethan Ralph. Well, his baby mama was most likely 17 when they started talking. So all these people here are just really pieces of shit, but we're focusing on one particular piece of shit, and that's John Zerka. They brought up the fact that Zerka and Sneeko were flirting with underage girls and everything, and they just laugh it off about it. Like, you know, who cares? Who cares? And that's Zerka's whole thing. He likes to pretend that he can say whatever he wants because he's a comedian, you know? Are you one of these people who don't like free speech? Well, Zerka, I think everyone likes free speech but i don't think anybody likes speech talking about wanting to be a pedo and this that and the third that's only you there buddy and zerka despite having these very 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 questionable takes on like all things sexuality he um he's also a pretty big internet tough guy zerka is someone who tries to throw his weight around because he's a pretty big dude compared to all these like the kids he hangs out with basically you saw him at that college party he looks like a grown ass man that's because he is he's 28 years old hanging around all these kids and that's why he probably does it because he feels like the man around them and you can see clips of him like this one on screen here just trying to fight action man just because he wanted to action man being another streamer who honestly i don't really watch any of the guy's stuff i can't because he reminds me of those dudes from mr meaty that weird nickelodeon show that was absolutely disgusting back in the day if you know you know but zerka's tough guy persona got shattered this week as he was warring with some dude online talking about meeting this dude in real life to fight him so i guess the dude flew all the way from the united kingdom to go like i guess find zerka on the street but zerka found him first and what you're about to see now is zerka confronting this dude at an outdoor restaurant and what happens after that is just it's just beautiful uh oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh god. Oh boy. This guy. Hey, Doc, let's go. Get him. Come here. Come here. Come here. Fuck me, camera down. You came here to hunt me. Fuck me, camera down. I'm fucking shit. I'm coming down the corner. Wait a minute, camera down. You came here for this. Who the fuck you hurt, camera down? Who you hurt? I'm coming here for me. I'm coming for me. Get the fuck out of my face, bro. Now we're gonna put the camera down and let's go around the corner now. Let's stop playing games. All right, let him. You wanna freeze? Shit. So freeze. So tell them you're freezing. Hey, tell them you're freezing. What is freezing? I give you his first hit. I give you first hit. Let's go. Put the camera down. 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 And let's run it. Now. Let's run it now. Tell, tell, tell the world watching. Tell the world. Tell the world you're not coming. He came from the UK to hunt me down and beat me up. So do it then, bro. Listen, listen, listen. I one shot you, bro. I one shot you. I one shot you. Why camera? Why camera? Why camera? Why camera? Why camera? Why camera? Hey, 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 chill, boys. Hey, chill. You concern me, you broke up. Hey, 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 chill, chill, boys. Oh boys, boys, boys! Chill! Oh my god.
I hate that I have to edit that so heavily, but YouTube is pretty strict on like actual punches being thrown and everything. But nonetheless, I'll have that video linked in the description below. It's a lot longer too, like Zerka continuously gets his ass beat there, and it is such a good sight to see. And I think everyone likes seeing when Zerka gets smacked around or when Jack gets smacked around. And again, the, f the, the end of the day, it's always another content creator, it seems like. It's never just some random fan on the street. So it's always when they invite this stuff to them themselves that it happens and you can't feel bad for them when it happens especially zerka dude's a straight up predator i mean you can't you're, if he's gonna be saying that stuff with such confidence going out there with sneeko doing the stuff he does i don't know man you you ain't gonna tell me no other way this dude don't got some ulterior motives trying to hide it by saying it's edgy jokes but this video isn't about Zerka, it's about Jack. And Jack is someone who right now seemingly has the world in the palm of his hands. But as this live streaming stuff always does, it can fizzle out rather quickly. And that's why Jack needs to consistently up the ante and do more and more crazy shit in order to keep his audience entertained. And that goes back to what I talked about in the beginning of the video, saying that he's such a bad influence for people looking up to him, more specifically kids, because let's be honest, videos like this aren't being watched watched by adults. And when kids do watch this video, they'll probably go and look up Jack's live streams. And when they do see Jack's live streams, they'll see him talking to 16-year-old girls talking about making an OnlyFans and his boy Action Man trying to hype it up. The fact that they're trying to get a girl to make an OnlyFans like We don't watch no one wants to buy our OnlyFans. I'm just saying like you might as well like we're, we're just putting out we're not worried about her being 18 and all of them jack zerka action man they all laugh about this this is just all content this is all a joke to them now the rest of the world looks at this as some pretty deplorable behavior and i'm not even going to show the follow-up clip where action man is like kind of like right up in this girl's face telling her that all she's good for is like like pleasuring men and shit like it's it's really weird stuff that i don't even want to put in the video but the video is out there somewhere I don't even know where to find it to link it. It's on my Twitter though. It's SmokeyMCC if you want to check it out there. Terrible, terrible behavior from all these people. And I'm pretty sure Action Man Zerka are a lot older than Jack. So these are the people he kind of looks up to. And a lot of Jack's younger audience looks up to him. And when they see him do all this stuff, they think it's an actual viable career choice. Remember, most kids nowadays really think that YouTube is the end all be all. And so when they see the content that Jack makes they go man i can do that all i have to do is be an insufferable piece of shit too and maybe one day i can be living in a mansion just like that there's tons of streamers I could have made this video with the same point about, but Jack and his his ragtag group of, of weirdos that stick beside him, they were the one that really caught my eye. And I'd like to make more videos like this on people like Jack and people of his ilk, but if you guys enjoyed it, let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it's your first time ever seeing the channel, I hope you stick around. And if not, completely understandable. Your boy is not for everyone, but hey, if I was, Hope to see you again soon. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one. Make sure to stay safe, and if you did like videos like this, honestly, I'd make another one on Jack, but who knows what the shelf life that the type of content he makes has, this dude could be completely gone from like five years from now. Once you do too much crazy shit like this, eventually it becomes too much and there's nowhere left to go. So, it's a dangerous lesson for Jack to learn, but when you see what he's doing now, the only way you probably think it's gonna happen for him is the hard way. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you on the next one, everybody. Take care.